So now let's see how we can work with matching questions inside of Adobe Captivate. To work with matching questions, I'm going to go to slide right over here. And here I'm going to click on question slide right over here. And then here's the option matching just like this. So this is going to be graded just like that. And then I'm just going to choose two questions over here. And then I'm going to press OK. Once I do that, you can see that you get this matching like icon right over here. So you got item A, B, C, and then you got other answer right over here, just like that. So you got three col columns over here. If you were to go on to the quiz option, you can change the number of columns that you want. Let's say, for example, if you want to do like a four column right over here, then it is a four column now, as you can see, just like that. So uh, over here, you can go over here onto the other side as well and change like, change like, let's say, number of columns like two by two right over here, just like that. So you got two columns over here and then you got four columns over here, as you can see right over here. So the first item, okay, so I'm going to say something like 2D animation and then over here, I'm going to type in 3D animation. So I'm just going to uh, give the software names, right? So 3D animation. And then I'm going to say uh, vector design and I'm going to say raster design. So I'm going to uh, relate to the tools over here. So I'm going to go over around here and this is going to be, uh, let's say for example, uh, Toon Boom for 3D animation, Maya for 2D animation is Toon Boom. For vector design, it's going to be Inkscape all right and for raster design let's say let's go with photoshop all right so these are the four options right over here so uh for 2d animation it's going to be toon boom so i'm going to choose d right over here just like this you can see that it is connected for 3d animation it is going to be maya so i'm just going to select c for vector design it's inkscape so i'm going to select b right over here and for raster design it's Photoshop. So this is how everything is linked up as you can see right over here. So now over here, uh, I can give the column name as well. So I'm going to say uh, creative, um, creative task. And over here in column two, I'm going to say software. Okay, so once I do that, I'm going to go to quiz and let's uh, set everything up. So I do want to shuffle the column up right over here. And then the points uh, that you earn by shuffle, um, by matching these are 10. So penalty will be minus one. All right. So I don't want to set up any other uh, settings right over here. I don't want to give a time limit or anything right over here. So the first question is done. Let's go to the second question right over here. So I'm going to go around and let's say uh, I'm going to say Adobe right over here and then I'm going to say uh, Autodesk right over here. Okay, so Adobe, uh, Photoshop and Autodesk Maya. Here I'm going to say developer, developer and here I'm going to say software. Okay, so they have to match the following right over here. Again, on the quiz, I want it to shuffle right over here. And this is going to be five points and uh, no penalty for this one. So now let us set the passing grade as well. So I'm going to go to quiz, I'm going to go to quiz preference right over here. And then from the quiz preference, I'm going to go to quiz, uh, pass or fail, 40%, just like this. Okay. So once I do that, I'm going to preview this now so that we can work around with our mass the following. So I'm just going to delete this out now. So I'm just going to uh, delete this slide and then I'm going to go to the preview section right over here and then I'm going to click on project right over here. So once I do that, uh, a preview will be generated right over here so that we can start mass the following. So I'm going to go around here and go over here and here you can see that I can choose uh, the options. So this is Photoshop or Inkscape or whatever, whatever we want to do. So let's say raster design is going to be uh, Photoshop. So that's going to be A, as you can see, vector design is going to be Inkscape. So that's B right over here. 2D animation is D, that's Toon Boom and 3D animation is C right over there. Submitted and yes, it's correct. As you can see right over there. So over here now, I'm going to choose wrong answer. So Adobe uh, Maya, okay, 
and Autodesk Photoshop. So I'm choosing the wrong answer here. It says incorrect. Press Y to continue or click anywhere. So over here, you see the percentage and the results. So you score 10, uh, maximum score 15, and there you go. And that's how you work with matching questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.